Welcome back everyone. So I wanted to do a follow-up of the full nail tip Gelex fill. I have the video, it's in the top right hand corner where I actually did these nails, the fill that is, and I showed you the products I used. Well, I'm going to do a follow-up on this one. I am three weeks just over, I think, and everything's really good so far. I just have knocked him with my e-file doing client's nails. So I don't think they're like a perfect shape, but that's nothing to do with the products I used. So we're going to check for lifting to see if the product I used in that video is worth using all of the time and to do a normal fill, let alone a Gelix fill. But so far, so good. They were very strong. This one, I actually... Right here, I got caught and it just kind of took away a bit of the top, but it did not break the nail or crack it in any way. So I was a little hard on them. So I felt the product was really extremely strong. I will show you what I used in that video. So this was what I did the base and the builder. So it has all of the steps in just the base, which is nice and it's really flexible. You can see right there, it says, multi-flex gel and I'm really thinking and I don't have any lifting it doesn't feel like I do but we'll check once I get down and then you guys can decide if you want to purchase it I'll have the link where I got this from down in the description and I do have a 10% off code at the store I got it from so I'll put that down there as well with this but Maybe this is going to be my go-to if everything is not lifted after I was a little rough on them. You can kind of see, I'll just show you that you can see there's no lifting at all, which is really nice so far, but we'll, we'll really check by getting down. And then I'm going to be doing my nails in general, so I might show you them the process. I may even use this product again because I still will have some full nail tip from when I did this fill. So I might just fill it in with this because I did really like it. If there's no lifting, why not, right? So I'm going to get started with that. So I like to shorten with my cylinder bit and it has the new sanding band on it just to shorten them. I'm going to do the coffin shape again, but they do need some uh, shaping in that. So, but first I'll bring them down a bit. I don't think I'm going to wear them that long, so I will shorten. I'm going to turn on my Melody Susie, my new favorite dust collector. This thing is awesome. And I'm going to turn it on. So there it's going. So I will turn off the sound now so you can watch. So using the cylinder bit on myself, it's going to look a little awkward just because it's easier to use it on a client. You can hold their nails. And I do put my finger up here right away. It helps stabilize that nail so it's not kind of vibrating like you saw when I did the first one but it still works really good on myself I can shorten them quicker and then I kind of get them that straight across right away it's a lot quicker than using a standard like say carbide bit so that's what I like about this bit so I'm going to shorten them and I did go down I'd say quite a bit I decided I just want them shorter. I find they get in the way when I'm working on clients if I have them long. So now to remove the product, this is the quickest way. This is a smooth top uh, carbide bit in coarse, and I find this works best. You'll see it remove it really quick, the product. And you can have it at 35,000 RPMs. This new e-file is amazing. There's no vibration. You hardly even hear it. It's really that good. So I can have it at 35,000 RPMs and it does quick removal with this carbide bit. So you'll see me removing and this is where we're going to see if there's lifting. I already know there's not going to be because when I pushed on the back end by the cuticle, nothing was lifted. And I will show you as I do each nail that there is absolutely no lifting. So the Luminary base mixed with the Magic Gel primer pen is amazing. Considering I was really hard on my nails, I'm quite impressed 
that I did have absolutely no lifting. You can see that there. And I will show the rest too, but just staying off the natural nail with the horse carbide bit because it's hard on the natural nail. You don't want to use it on there. You just want to use cuticle diamond bits when you're doing around the natural nail where there's no product. So I even take the bit and I will shape a little bit with this one. And sometimes I'll grab a file after I'm done uh, removing product and checking for lifting. And then I'll do better shaping before I apply the product. So I'll just finish this one and then I'll show you up close that there's no lifting on this one either. So a couple more and I'll just let you watch me remove the rest and then I will bring them up to show there was no lifting. And of course, I if I feel like I need to shorten a little bit more, I will with the carbide bit because of course you can do that. But the main of it was removed already. You can see though, like it really removes very, very quickly when you use a coarse bit. There again, look at that. Like there's absolutely no lifting. It's really nice. So I'm going to do the last two now. I'm just going to speed up the video now for the last two. There again, you can see no lifting. I slowed it down so you can see, and I'll just do the thumb. And then when I'm done it, I'll show you there was no lifting as well. Pretty amazing, right? So I think I will show you finishing this fill. So doing the cuticle work, uh, removing the cuticle with my nippers, the primer, and the luminary again, just how easy it goes on. And I think that'll be it for this video. And then the next video I have up will be what I actually used on my nails and you can watch me do my nails or watch me work one with the color, the polishes and the art that I do because I decided to do that in a different video because this one will be too long I think if I do it all and you'll lose interest by the time we get done just the fills so just so you guys know I'm just going to do another video it'll be a shorter one but it'll have the actual design I did on my nails and that one so there's the thumb look at that there is no lifting once again so really nice so i'm just going to grab my cuticle bit i'm not going to show you every nail removing the cuticles just a couple of them and then into the uh, application of the luminary again the base coat that is so for my cuticles i like to use what is called the nub diamond bit because i find i can get right under my cuticles and lift them up I tend to have, I would say, I wouldn't say thick cuticles, but they're there a little more than some of my clients. So if I can get under them and lift them up and then I'll be able to trim them with my cuticle nippers once I'm done. And it's always good to go forward and reverse. It really lifts them up nicely. You can really see it on this one, how it's lifting it. And then it'll be easy for me to see, to be able to trim them and just neaten everything up around my cuticles. Again, any products that I used in this video, I'll put the links down in the description. And if I have a coupon code, I'll put that down there as well. Some of my links are affiliate links and some are not. But I appreciate it if you are purchasing anything from those links. It really helps my channel. It's a small commission. We don't get a lot when you guys purchase from some of our links, but some are not even affiliate. It just depends what it is, but just so you know. So now grabbing my cuticle nippers and I'll remove any cuticle that I lifted up. A few of them, you'll really see the cuticle that I am cutting. It'll just come off in a long strip almost. and. These work so well. They're very uh, sharp, that's for sure. So I'll just let you watch me do that, and then I'll be back for the next step.
so they're done now so i'm gonna grab my prep spray and spray them good i want to remove any oils or dust so the products bond nicely to my nails and i'm gonna be using my magic gel primer pen it works really well and it's really easy to use i like it over the, say a bottle of liquid you can see that nail was nice and neat when it was done so going around the natural nail i don't need to apply it on the full nail just where the natural nail is showing just so everything bonds nicely to it product always bonds really good to other products so you don't need to put it on there so there's different ways of applying this base gel and this is my base and builder in one if you didn't see my last video where i did the gel x fill it's in the top right hand corner but you can do a base a slip layer and then apply a bead at the top or you can apply the bead and just float it over the main thing with this type of gel is you're going to want to float it because it is self-leveling and it fills in everything nicely and what i love about the luminary gel it does not run like it's a really nice consistency so i can fill it in and i can even use the brush to do along the edges because the product is not extremely runny and that's really important i think too when you're using a product to have something that's not too runny it's just kind of the right consistency so just making sure i have my apex in the right spot just using the brush to do that you can use the liner brush sometimes i do use a liner brush i don't show it in the video to move the product around to fill in any indents or anything so that you have to do minimal filing finish filing when you're done applying this and that's what i really like about it i don't have to spend a lot of time filing so I'm going to show you one more nail. One thing I didn't mention about the last nail. So of course I'm going to apply the luminary, push it up into the area where there was no gel and then just a thin layer over all of the nail because there is still a tip there. So it's giving me that strength. So I don't need a lot of product at the tip, but I want to fill it in and I want to use my light once I get the bead on and float it. Then I'll look at my lights. You can see the light in my nail. And if there's no funny indents or anything in that light as you move it, then you know you filled it in correctly and it is in the correct spot. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of an apex there again, because as it grows out, it moves. So fill that in nicely. And then I'll use my light. So you see me lifting my nail up and down. That's just so, I can check in the light to see if I have any indents or anything, and that's what I'm doing. And you can also flip your nail upside down and let gravity help you with that, which works really well too. But you can see it looks really good. Oh, I guess I did one more nail, so you'll see that. And the same thing again, I'm taking that bead. I'm not doing a slip layer at first. You can, you can do a really thin layer over the nail, or you can push the bead up and then just float it over the nail like you see me doing here and it will self level and then i'll just look for any indents once i have it everywhere and i was missing a slight corner i think on this one just a tiny bit so add a little extra product on that one corner and before it goes on the light i'll make sure it's in that spot but it really is an easy product to use i'm very impressed by this one i think i'm always going to use this on myself and I do use my magic gel system on my clients, but it's also another good line. But this one's really good for a gel fill. So just so you know, so once I'm done this nail, that is all I'm going to show you in this video. And I hope this video was helpful on how to do fills on gel -X nails. I'm just using some isopropyl alcohol right now to clean them up. And they're ready for products. In my next video, I will share what I did on my nails and the products I used because this one would be too long otherwise. Thanks everybody for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see everybody in the next one.